Hey guys, the Langbanger new deck profile for March 2013, and we have my updated tin plate gadget build, I guess. Well, anyways, let's just hop right into it. You start with three Goldfish, three Kagetogi, two Photon Thrasher, two Thunderbird, two Red Gadget, two Green Gadget, and two Yellow. Now, in my last profile, I was using the Mocking Engine. Now, part of the reason why I dropped that was, first of all, Evil Swarms are going to be absolutely everywhere. And I was just thinking, uh, even though Mocking of Fortress is an amazing card, I just decided to go another route and just go Rank 4 Spam. Now, we also gained a whole lot of good cards since I last did this profile. You have... I believe it's number 69 Crest, where it can just copy a monster's effect on the field. Uh, you need three guys to be able to go into it. I mean, and then you just have older cards like Bylon to Sigma. You have Shockmaster, and all those cards can just simply steal games. And then you always just have the powerhouses like Abyss Dweller, Maestro, and things of that sort. So, as long as you bring out and exceed and have back rows, you should be able to keep up with the meta for the most part. Now, I'm not saying that I'm going to keep Machina out of this. I could very well go back to it. I could very well merge Machina into what I'm trying to do. We'll see on that. Uh, time will tell. On to the spells. You have three double summon. Before I was only using two, but now I'm just going all out spam. Uh, you also have King Feral Imp, so that allows you to search out Kagetogi, and that's actually really powerful. People overlook how good that actually is, because no matter what, if you're still searching, you're going to be able to just get raw advantage that your opponent cannot possibly do. So, you know, it just gives you more cards to do more tricks. You have two lands, you have two MST, Reborn, Avarice, Book of Moon, Dark Hole, and Heavy Storm. Now, I cut down the two MST because, let's just say that Dragons and Spellbooks are going to be the two best decks. Well, MST and Heavy doesn't really do a whole lot against that, but I still have to keep a certain amount of cards just for decks like Dino Rabbit, um, Evil Swarm, and, you know, just all these other decks that just actually have back rows still. So it's like, I wanted to cut down a little bit, but not be totally stupid, so... That's the spells for you. On to the traps. You have two Bottomless, two Fiendish Chain, two Prison, two Mirror Force, two Tarantula, Warning, Road, and Judgment. So, Fiendish Chain, I feel like I like the card more in here. Um, Breakthrough Skill is an amazing card. Do not get me wrong. And I could very well use both Breakthrough Breakthrough Skill and Fiendish Chain, but for the time being, I'm just going with Fiendish Chain. I like that the card can bait out MST, and also if your opponent doesn't have MST, Fiendish Chain can be better, because just because of the power that my Exceeds have, all I have to do is be able to negate an effect, and I can just go to town. And if something then goes wrong there, well, the Fiendish Chain is still face up. So it's like, it can buy me time, but you know, kind of hard to explain what I'm trying to say there, but, um, yeah, so that's my deck profile for you, um, like I said, things could very well change, um, this could actually be an option for Nationals, um, like I said, I'm gonna test out the Machinas, I may test Breakthrough Skills in here with the Fiendish Chains, because I just really like both cards, and they do a whole lot of work against Evil Swarm, Mermel, Dragon, you know, just all these decks. I mean, it's just a really, you know, solid thing. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more content. Peace.